Well, I hear the little beach cabin. I picked some tile out with Joel out of our scrap earlier. And uh, he's been out here sawing away. And let's have a look at what he's done so far. I hadn't even seen it. Man, he's knocking it out. So look at that, man. There's a tile countertop already. And he's trying to map out his backsplash, it looks like. You think? Oh, you got enough of that to put a ring around the top of it? I think that'll look good. The thickness is different, though. This tile's thick. So, yeah, put extra mortar behind it so it'll come out even. Mm, yeah. That'll work. I just let him pick it how he wants. That will work. So, shoot, he'll have the surround on that countertop done here in just a little bit then. Mr. Joel got the little countertop done in here today. Check this out, man. Isn't this cool? And I think he did a good job, you know. Uh, these were left over from the shower project, and this is tile we had left from that main big guest room up front. And we had the aluminum here. We already had tile adhesive here. We had this sink that I had bought brand new and had not used it, so it's good to be putting all that stuff to work. Oh, he got the drain put together underneath it, too, man. That's really cool. Yeah, man. That's nice. Looks good. Just perfect, man. Just perfect, perfect. And I just love this color. I did ask him to put this, but it was his idea on how he wanted to put all the rest of it. Just freaking perfect. I like it. So he'll get this all set. I've got everything for him fastening that in too. Good morning, everyone. It's another day of busy day here. So you see, I have a different helper for today. So this is my cousin. And Joan was not available this morning because, uh, of course, she had uh, she had kids to take care of, you know, to go to school. So I asked my cousin to help me this morning. Yes, this is it, our Filipino breakfast. Top silog, long silog, two silog, and ham silog. Huh? Good morning, everybody. Good morning from here in Tikbawan, Philippines. We're getting our day started right here at the lumber yard again. Yeah, getting it started again. We need to buy some materials to finish up a project, and we need to buy some materials to start a new project. Miss Melinda, she's been busy down there this morning, and Ate Susan uh, taking care of all of our guests. We got a full place right now, and just really been enjoying them. Need to get that cabin up and ready because, like right now, we booked out every room, and we need that cabin going so we can get online and get booked.
So I'm buying all this uh, stack of wood right here. It's various sizes. Um, there's some mahogany there. There's some gemelina there, which are both great woods. The gemelina, of course, is the one that's more white looking. Um, these are for a couple different projects. There's a big, nice, long one that's seven inches wide by three inches right there. That I'm going to use that as a beam. It's a nice, long one there, probably 14, 15 foot long. Most of these others are 12s, and there might be a couple 10s in there. So I'm not going to haul these on my truck. We are getting some planks ripped down over there right now. And uh, with their, the wood they're cutting right now is for another customer here waiting. But then they're gonna rip some two inch thick material over there that's eight inches wide into one inch thick for me. And uh, we're gonna use that for seating on those little benches out there at the beach. But I told them go ahead and cut this other guy's wood so that we're not disturbing. And. I've got plenty of time here right now. Well, I decided that while we're hauling these down to the house, that I go ahead and start buying up some NIPA for the next project and go ahead and fill the back of the truck up with NIPA in that empty space. Then all this large lumber, they've got a flatbed truck that's going to come deliver that to me. And we start making the journeys filling up for the next project so funny change of plans they hired up a tricycle <laughs> it's gonna haul that lumber on down there now because the truck's not here so dude jumped on a bike came back with this guy here with this tricycle man and uh they're loading it up dude <laughs> dude and dudettes it's just funny man uh and over on this one also Yep, both of them. Both of them. <laughs> and the amazing things they do with tricycles here. Thing about it, they get it done, they don't mess around. Kind of laugh, because back in the, in the States, man, you ain't going to get nothing done unless I got to have my, my F-350. I got to have my 2500 HD diesel. To haul that and then then they haul a little 125s and 175 cc motorcycles over here hauling sometimes just as big a loads man it's kind of crazy <laughs> ain't nothing near the price either man <laughs> uh two or three tanks of fuel in your big truck back in the states is the cost of this whole bike and setup <laughs> F-150 right there. That's the F-250 over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I might be wrong. That might be the F-250 over there and this is the F-350 over here. <laughs> uh, they're loading them down, man. That lumber's heavy.
<laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Woo! In the best lumber yard right there. Woo, woo, woo! about to split this wood here and start making our benches across and our tables in these little bi-kubos and I think it's going to be pretty nice looking forward to that so uh, we're gathering up everything right now here for it So, uh, I'm going to look at this here, will you? No, I don't want uh, don't knock all that off yet. I want to leave it a little bit rustic. I'm, I might take the bark off, but I don't want to make it straight. That, that curve down is okay with me. We may just take the bark only and shave it, but, but we don't have to make it perfect. You can leave all of that on there. Okay. I want it a little bit rustic. So... You know, something I was thinking about on these is should we fill that should we fill that up right there with cement. with cement because it's going to hold water all the time and it's going to rot. Well, we better mix up a small batch and fill fill the top of those up. Let's get get Dean to come do that real quick. Ding ding, ding a ling. <laughs> All right, let's think about this back. I'll tell you what I was thinking about, Joy. I was thinking about putting a piece of bamboo across the back side, make it lean. I'll show you here. So I just screwed this on here. We said I just put one board only on the back. Those are nice and wide. And uh, they're actually pretty comfortable right there. So we're just moving this right along pretty fast. It's going to save us a little bit of lumber because I was first thinking two, but it doesn't need them though. One wide board's enough. And the ones that are really hollow here on top where I had cement in them, some of them, you know, aren't hollow all the way down like that but we don't want water standing in them and then rot them out so Miller's going down through here filling up the tops capping them with concrete log when you finish that one go ahead and take the saw don't cut this one okay don't cut the middle one just cut this one even this one even just those mm. but the middle one leave it okay yeah. For the table, yeah, but you need to cut that off even and do it on the other one over there also. Yeah, I'm, I'll make the tables last. We'll do all the benches and then I'll make the table. I'll see what we have left over. Okay. Yeah. We'll move on down there and do those benches but you can go ahead and split a couple more of these boards into oh Joel found his saw 
<laughs> so many syndicates, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, you'll, you'll have to leave it down even or the wood will hit it, yeah. <laughs> well, we got stuff going on here everywhere. It is cloudy and it tried to rain. We had like this light little mist tiny barely sprinkle and then it quit so uh it's just a tease just teasing this one doing here is I asked them to not cut off the top of these bamboo posts and I showed them I want to build this table sliding down around that yeah just pull out there a little bit there you go we'll get that level hold that I'll grab this level and then I want to leave the bamboo sticking through the table that's that thick bamboo if we want to stick even napkins in there we can you know anything <laughs> put flowers yeah poison flower <laughs> so uh yeah right there that's it same thing here though but if you got stuff you can put in there i mean somebody could literally set a beer in there <laughs> yeah just whatever man just to make it different just something different besides always same 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 now we got this one already cut right there that for the three so you want to put that one back in the middle yeah back on there yeah push that back down and then and then we're gonna put put this one yeah and don't yeah you got a mark where's the mark needs to go down okay uh, what you need to do is crawl underneath and screw that the big one on first yeah yeah, you probably have to get 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 low. How low can you go? Uh, tighten it a little bit more. Tighten it just a little bit more. Okay. Now, before you put the other one. We need to also make sure it's leveled the other way here. Put that third plank on there, number three. Right on Mott Mott's head. <laughs> Put it hard. Boom. Okay, now. Which way? Okay, boss. Like okay. that? Uh. Okay, go. Okay, boy. Holding it straight in the screw. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, it'll work. Now we can put. Now we can put the, yes. the screws in across up here, and then we'll we'll probably go ahead and put a a support block. Go. This yeah, yeah, we'll cut one and we'll go here back to there. No, 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 move over. You're no. in it. It's about right there. There you go. 
Let's shoot them in the back first and that way this thing will quit rocking. Just right around that. I kind of like that sticking out. Just something different, man. <laughs> you see that? The power saw's there. <laughs> and the brownout saw's there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joel, we'll probably take like this corner here, that jigsaw. And cur corner. curve these corners here. Curve this, curve this corner too, so people don't scrape their heads on it. Yeah, just a small curve. Long scroll. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you just want to come sit on this side. We're using up all those old screws. Another beautiful evening. So it's been a really great day. I probably could have done a lot more video on that I did, but I was just hustling every which direction trying to keep these guys busy. So these are our little Bakubos going on right here. Let's look at that. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. And I intentionally left this little bamboo sticking up. I kind of like these little hollow spots. Got a little sand in there right now. That was a little deeper over there. I said, oh, I'll just leave those. Don't cut them off. Let's just leave them sticking out. And uh, we might set something here in them. A little holder or something. With maybe some, uh, who knows, tissue or anything. If we've got a party going on. And just be something unique right there. But there they are. Nice, sturdy little booths. And we put up a little bit of lighting here on them. And we zigzagged it up and down through here on them. 